This is a great art book I imported from Japan. It's the storyboards, mood boards, and concept art for the anime Memories by Katsuhiro Otomo, also the director of Akira. It's three short films. Uh, Koji Morimoto and Satoshi Kon worked on Magnetic Rose, and that's the one everyone talks about. Um, but in my opinion, by far the best short out of the three is Cannon Fodder, which tells a, or shows a totalitarian society where everyone's role is to um, load these cannons and then shoot the cannons at an unidentified enemy. So the entire world is designed like a, like a cannon, like all the houses have cannons pointing out at them in all directions and all the kids in school only learn about loading cannons and all their, the mathematics that they learn in math class is all about um, like dealing with wind direction, how that would affect the, the bullet coming out of the cannon. So it's this world that's totally obsessed with this one goal. And what's so impressive about this short film, for one, the animation style isn't like the typical anime tropes. It's very individualized and iconic, and it has a child book illustration style where it's kind of rough, and, but the colors are real grimy, and um, the backgrounds are insanely detailed. But what's so cool about it is that Cannon Fodder was animated to appear as one continuous shot. So just from a purely technical perspective, it's a masterpiece. It was made in the 90s. I think it was one of the first anime to use computers um, in the way that it did. But what they did was, um, like each shot transitions into the next in a way that fools your eye. Because it wasn't literally one continuous shot. They'd have like a character walk by and then the background would sweep to a different background but um in my opinion it's an artistic masterpiece so i got this book just for the storyboards of cannon fodder alone and it has uh it's all written in japanese because this is a japanese import but that doesn't matter because the layout drawings and the camera movements are so coherent it doesn't matter what language you speak. So it has the camera, the arrows indicating the camera pans, and then um, it'll have like key frames of animation, like up here, this cannon being loaded, this giant bullet being loaded. So I've watched this short, it's a 20 minute short, edited to look like one continuous shot. I've watched it, dozens of times but it's really fulfilling to be able to see exactly how the animators and the storyboard artists planned out uh, each individual scene because the storyboard artists in animation are actually the cinematographers animation and live action have an opposite process as far as editing is concerned with live action they'll shoot a bunch of takes and then in then edit the shots together and cut stuff out and choose among various shots to get the compositions. But in animation, the editing process is actually done in the storyboard phase. The acting is done in the storyboard phase. Uh, and the layout drawings are, are made to indicate the, pan, the panning cameras and because for animation, there's not like a physical camera someone's walking around with. It's the camera movements are literally animated or calculated with a, cam uh, with a computer where you'll have a long, big background that is bigger than the size of the screen that will be moved around the uh, dimensions of the screen to create the illusion of movement. So. 
if you have any interest whatsoever in animation or if you're a storyboard artist I would highly recommend the memory of memories just for the sequence on cannon fodder alone so it's really cool but I'm gonna be making more animation tutorials and speed drawings and stuff and probably gonna start reviewing things that I consume such as books and anime I need to catch up on things so if you have recommendations let me know in the comments below recommendations for either graphic novels manga or anime uh, I the stuff I mostly like is stuff that's a little bit more psychological or that has a distinctive visual style that's what I like but I hope you enjoyed this little review and I'll see you in the next video.